human intelligence is overrated. Uh, I would love you to unpack some of that for our audience. Oh, sure. Um, let's stick with the um, weather story. I'm not I'm done with it yet. Let's think about sort of a lot. Let's think about a village in a cold climate versus a village in a warm climate. Now, in a village with a warm climate, um, everybody can grow crops, and crops are can be grown year round. So you don't really have to save up um, your harvest. Uh, you have two crops a year. And in a cold climate, in the winter you can't sow, so you have like one crop, and then you have to have some storage capacity. Um, since you're storing, you also have to have some sort of social organization that figures that people that did not contribute to the sowing don't get to freeload um, on the harvest. So you have to have contracts, you have to have a rule of law. Um, you have to have more division of labor because some people are going to be um, doing the excess um, sowing so that in the winter everybody can eat. Um, you also have to have more specialized clothing. You have to have more specialized housing. You have to have firewood. Um, you have to have, um, you know, um, livestock uh, because you can't like in a cold climate with no meat. You have to eat meat. You have to drink milk. You have to have protein in your diet. All of this requires a whole lot more coordination than a village where you can get two square meals a day throughout the year just from the um, wheat that you sow out of your backyard. So if you took a person in each of these villages, a cold village and a hot village, their individual IQ might be the same. But the cultural context in which mm -hmm. they live in, the demands that the environment has off of them, will predispose one to be much more family-based and one to be much more community-oriented. Because as a family, you can survive in a hot uh, village. You just have like three or four people to work and that's enough. But three or four is too small a unit for survival in a more hostile environment. You need to have more people working together. And so you have more community organization um, in a colder climate. Not because the people there are more intelligent or less intelligent, it's just because that's the environmental condition that they've been put into. And that's the sort of cultural adaptation that humans are very good at. So the point I was making um, in our chat call was that most of what we consider intelligent is actually just culture. It's what we have learned over thousands of years of trial and error and that we sort of get um, through learning when we come into this world. An individual that's born and that's not acculturated is not very far away from a monkey. Um, and so the concept of intelligence, it personalizes what is fundamentally cultural, um, is, did I get my point? 